Hello, be a YouTube Lord on with me in my Waterfall Pokemon X Scale of Darkness. And yes, it's in the small screen because I recorded all this in small screen, unfortunately. I did it all before Christmas and whatnot. So, and that. And just after Christmas, I figured out how to make it wide screen. So, yeah. So, I'm just going to start a new game and pick my new name. Which is going to be hard to do because of how many times I've started this game and all my other Pokemon games. So I just decided to just go for... Let's see, what will they go for? Because it's been ages since I played this. I don't tell me just go for Lord 007. Yep, yeah, I did. <laughs> oh, God. And this is m way better than Coliseum in my opinion. And people that don't know Coliseum came before this game and I might get to it, but there is just so much tedious in it. By the fact, I mean the Shadow Pokemon, the fact is you can't save it anytime you want. And anyway, we have our first cutscene. And I'll be talking for these cutscenes because they're, well, there's no dialogue. And we're introduced to Shadow Lugia. No spoilers there, alert, because it's on the front cover of the box. But this is the thing that surprised me. It lifts a ship with some sort of uh, tractor beam, I presume. Which I admit is pretty impressive. And it just carries it away. Hmm. I think it'd be a lot easier just, you know, to uh, raid the ship and that. But, uh, that's my opinion anyway. So, now we have the black screen of death, and let's get on to whatever's coming next. Oh, the Pokemon out. Oh my god, don't tell me. Oh yes, my star Pokemon is my favorite Pokemon of all time. Salamant! So, I go for that earthquake. Oh, what a chunk! Bloody hell, my, this Salamant's my Axe Vivis. Ah, Sludge Bomb. Uh, I'm trying to think, this is Gen Face, so it would poison moves count as uh, physical or projectile? Uh, assume they're projectile. Anyway, I guess Salamant loves that earthquake again. And takes out that Metagross. Ha, ah, you should have carried Ice Punch. Oh, I can't believe we start with level 50 Pokemon. Oh, this is awesome. This is going to be awesome. Sim Trainer? What's a Sim? Oh, no. Oh, don't tell me. Oh, you got... Oh, uh, oh, God damn it. It's a simulation. Damn you, Game Freak, and you're trolling. But I do get an Eevee. Oh, uh, 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 I guess that's okay. Yeah. I guess I can choose one of the evolutions this time, like, unlike Coliseum. Ah, uh, and it's my mother. Sort of. <laughs> because we have the Professor. And basically what they do is research in Shadow Pokemon, trying to make them all good again, even though apparently they were all wiped out a couple of years ago thanks to some other trainer, and was Pokemon Coliseum person. And now uh, you have to find your little sister, which is plain hide and seek in the lab. Joy! That's exactly what I want in a Pokemon game. Hide and seek. I just read the test, it says it's been five years. And he's giving me a P star DA. I assume it's my phone. I hope it won't be confiscated, but you don't know in the well, in this place is. So anyway, you, you might just know this is a guy underneath the desk. You have to talk to him, I believe, before you find your sister. Because obviously you can't progress with the story without finding your sh little sister. And if you see anything that's shiny, that has a blue white like circle around it, that means it's important and you must take it. And if you find this part, you find three poems, which is always nice, just in case the game gives itself a lucky quit as it normally does. Oh, and I have a message. Yeah, there's a guy called Aaron, I believe that, that said. He's playing hide and seek, and obviously he's up here, hiding underneath the desk. So now we go here, talk to him, and... Boom. He says he's playing hide and seek, which is there, and she's... Somehow, walked all the way there. I don't know how many miles that is, but that was one track for a girl, a little girl. <laughs> I 
And now we have to watch the news. Oh, a side duck. Look at that side duck. I don't care about the news. I want that. I want to look at that side duck. Ooh, look at that side duck. Oh, and a quagsire. Ooh. So now we have to go and find your sister at this doctor's place, but I never understand how the hell did she get there? Did she walk all that way? Is it just like down the street or whatever and this and this kid is really lazy? Because he has a moped or scooter, whatever you want to call him. Here you go, he just drives there. I mean, God, that's some track for a little girl. Oh, Groudon. Oh, Frankenstein's house. So, now we're going to have to go in here, find your sister, and head back. That's all we have to do, and let's get... Oh. Oh. Oh, well, who's this dog? What? How can I be a burglar? And your number one assistant. No wonder you think I'm a burglar. Look at those glasses! Oh wow, he sends out this one of the weakest Pokemon in the game. A seed. And I guess my Eevee. Ha! Now then. Oh, I know Bite. That's nice. Oh, look at that. Look how much damage that did. I'm not going to do jack shit. Sunker, and that's the one I was trying to think of what it's called now. Doesn't do his. Uh, he's got the weakest stats of any Pokemon. And there we go. Two bites and it's down. I didn't expect from a uh, level 10 Eevee against a level 5 Sunken. <laughs> and that's a battle. Wow, he's t his bow tie actually whirls when he loses. That's actually pretty cool. Yes, I'm a child. And here's your little sister. And her speed pattern is Mojo Jojo's. Otherwise, third person. Yeah. You tell her we have to take her home, and then she wants back into the lab. <sighs> Sisters. And now he wants me to follow him, but why would I want to follow him? I just want to grab the little bitch and just go home, for God's sake. Oh, like little girl is annoying your doctor, is he? Uh, look at those fish lips. I'm just skipping all these texts because it's nothing plot important at this pit. What's why I just want to grab her and go home. That's all I want to do. Oh, of course, we have a can't go without mining. Oh, do oh, don't tell me it's, it's just like in Pokemon Co Coliseum where she follows you everywhere and she gets in your way. So now then, what we're going to do is head back. Oh, hang on, we got a message. Yes, I found her. I'm taking it back. I stop emailing me. God. Uh, but uh, spoiler, but she doesn't. She follows you one more time, and then that's it. She stays at home where she belongs. And look at these kids not wearing these helmets. Oh, it's in the bad example. And oh, oh, look who's in trouble! <laughs> what? 
Oh, come on. She doesn't even get in trouble for that. Oh, that sucks. Favoritism right there. I know how they go and speak to the professor. You see what plot in what what? Oh, one professor. Oh, for God's sake, where the hell is he? He went downstairs, but I just came from downstairs. Oh my god, what? How did he get in here? I just walked it up this way and then... Oh my god, why do I bother? Video game logic for you. Ah, oh, the snag machine. The device that lets you steal Pokemon. But because you're good at two shoes, you're going to steal Shadow Pokemon. It sucks. How many times are I like, oh yes, I want that Metangle. I want that Steelix. And then I can't steal it because it's not a Shadow Pokemon. This should, should make a further version of this where you can catch any Pokemon you be able to bad guy. That would be awesome. Fair enough, every trainer, every time you we battle the trainer, you automatically win, but at least you win automatically and get free money. And you have all their Pokemon. Oh, and also he tells you there's some more simulation things you can try out if you really are novice to this. Yeah, I'm not. Oh, oh, is this drama in my Pokemon game? What is going on here? Why well, someone's trying to kidnap the professor? Oh no! Not the pine cone! Oh, those evil! Well, that guy's not pushing very hard if he can't even move that. That skinny bloody hell fucker. Ooh, new lab. Come on, Lord 007. You can take these guys on. Ah, here we got another battle. Spine naps. Yep, that's still the professor. Ooh, Teddy Ursa. A female Teddy Ursa. Ah, it should go down to my Eevee. Oh, hang on. Ah, my first Shadow Pokemon, Teddy Ursa. And Shadow Pokemon are much more dangerous in my opinion than, than Coliseum. For one reason, one reason only. Because if they use a Shadow Move, it's always super effective. Unless you have a Shadow Pokemon. That sucks. Doesn't matter how high you are, your statue it, or whatever, they're gonna do some serious damage with their shadow moves. So anyway, you have to throw the snowball, you can't even attack it because the professor's like, throw the snowball. So that's what you do, you throw the snowball, you catch the Tediosa. And now it's in your party and all you have to do is give it love. And then the shadow meter will go down and then it becomes normal. And for people that still don't know what Shadow Pokemon are, that the fact is they don't level up Shadow Pokemon. But if you still battle them, they'll, and then you purify them or whatever, then they gain the experience, then they level up. So it's not all lost. And they can learn some unique moves. So now we just lost the professor and he's taken to his new lab somewhere. So, so what's the game plan here, guys? Should we cry in the corner, you know, put an ab in the newspaper or something like that? Oh, there you go. There's always someone that says, "Let's do it. Let's complete the project without the guy that's wouldn't that we really need? What can possibly go wrong?" So anyway, that is part one. Stay tuned for part two. Peace out, everyone.